Hey guys, it's Wes, not your normal miner here. Today we got a fun one for you, and this is by community request. That's right, you guys with the community asked for it, so we're giving it to you. Today this is going to be a fun one. We're going to show you how to solo mine Ethereum. That's right, once again, by community request, we're going to show you how to solo mine Ethereum. Community requested that we show you how to do that using Hive OS. So that's what we'll walk you through today is we're going to show you how to solo mine Ethereum using Hive OS. And we are going to be using TwoMiners.com, their Ethereum solo mining pool. As always, guys, solo mining is not recommended. In the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to have a video that shows you why solo mining is not recommended. As well as, we're also going to have some other videos showing you how to solo mine Ethereum using other applications like Awesome Miner, Mining Rig Rentals, all sorts of different kind of fun shenanigans there. So, um, but we're going to get back to it by, once again, by community request. And if you guys are new to the channel, this is a great time to hit that subscription bell. That way uh, you can keep up with our latest and greatest shenanigans. Also, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you think about it. Also, if you didn't like it, give us that thumbs down. But you better comment down below and, and tell us why you, you don't like it. Um, but we are going to be talking with you once again about solo mining Ethereum using Hive OS over on 2miners.com. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner. Thanks for stopping in. Let's go for a ride. As always, guys, we're going to have links in the description down below so you guys can do your own research. Please, please, please do your own research. That's one of the most important things with anything to do with crypto or with mining. So, so like we said, in the description down below, we're going to have links to all the stuff that we talk with you about so you can do your own research. Um, first things first, you do typically want to find a mining pool that you that you want to use. We're going to show you how to do that here in just a little bit. Um, but once again, we're going to be using 2miners.com. By community request, we are going to be using Hive OS. Hive OS is a um, operating system that you'll put on a thumb drive, um, an SSD or something like that to run your, your GPU miners. Um, you can also run ASICs with Hive OS. Lots of different things there that you can do with Hive OS. We'll have a, a link in the description down there for you as well so you can check out Hive OS. Please guys do your own research and like we said earlier, solo mining is not recommended. The reason solo mining is not recommended, it's all or nothing. And if you aren't finding blocks, you aren't getting paid but you're still having to pay the tax man. So you're either paying for the electric or you're paying for the rented cost to run the miners. So like I said, solo mining's all or nothing. It can be very lucrative. Um, you can also pay out your ass trying to find those solo blocks. But today we're gonna show you how to mine, solo mine Ethereum using Hive OS over on twominers.com. Now some people might say, well, what do you know about solo mining, Wes? Not your normal miner. Well, with our GPU mining rigs, we've currently got four rigs hammering away solo Ethereum. And just with our small fleet of GPUs, um, we have been able to solo mine two Ethereum blocks. Now, some people might say that's nothing. Okay, well, here's our August solo mining Ethereum blocks. That's 13 blocks, and we had a luck percentage of 56. Like we said, though, in the upper right-hand corner, guys, I'm going to have a link to a video that shows you why solo mining is not recommended, as well as we're going to talk with you a little bit about the ramp and run style that we did with solo mining. Now, this was with rented hash, and you guys do need to realize when you're renting hash, it does cost you money, and it's extreme amounts of money to, to rent the amounts of hash that we rented. But we're going to get back to it. When you're trying to solo mine, we are going to tell you that you need to find a mining pool. Best way to do that is miningpoolstats.stream uh, forward slash Ethereum. If you guys like these kinds of videos, please give us a thumbs up. That way other people can see it. Comment down below. Let us know about your solo mining adventures. How many blocks have you found? Have you not had very good luck? Like we said, we've had huge streaks of not very good luck. Well over 361% luck, guys. That's a lot of cash flow out the door without getting any blocks. Um, keep an eye out. We're working on a ethereum proxy pool uh, video there we've been working on that one for quite some time the community has been helping us out with that but once again if you're going to figure out what mining pool you're going to mine on mining pool stats dot streams definitely the place to go you're going to be able to see pool fees minimum payouts how many miners are online the seven day history all sorts of great things you'll also be able to see whether it's a standard pool or a solo mining pool I am also going to send you over to 2CryptoCalc.com. A lot of people ask me, how long till I find a block? Well, you head over to 2CryptoCalc.com, you punch in your hash right there, and it's going to let you know. 
We're going to show you how to mine Solomine Ethereum using HiveOS using our RTX 3080 rig. Currently that thing's hammering away at about 268 mega hash per second. So if I wanted to figure out how long it would take me to find a block at 268 mega hash per second, I go to 2cryptocalc.com, I punch that in, and on Ethereum it's showing me about 5 months. Now guys, I need you to remember this is never a guarantee. I could find 50 blocks in 5 months. I could go 10 years and never find a block. That's once again why solo mining is not recommended. Hope you checked out that video in the upper right hand corner. Once again, in the upper right hand corner, we are going to have some other links so you can see some of those other videos, those ramp and runs where we are ripping solo ETH blocks. Once again, guys, solo mining is not recommended. Uh, plenty of reasons why. Um, comment down below if you want to know more about that. But once you figure out how often you're estimated to find blocks and you found out your mining pool, well, then you're going to need to, like I said, get over to Hive OS, get that downloaded, get that on a thumb drive. There's lots of other great videos to show you how to do that. Once you've got your miner all set up and running, well, now's where we get to the fun part. So, you guys asked for it. We bring it to you. We're showing you how to solo mine Ethereum using Hive OS using twominers.com. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscription bell. That way you can keep up with all these other how-tos, all these other great mining, all these other great cryptocurrency videos that we're bringing out to you guys. Remember, we are full-time, all the time now. So comment down below to let us know what other videos you want to see. Let us know what other projects you want us to solo mine. We're trying to get everything the best that we can. First things first, I need you to create a wallet over on Hive OS, guys. So you're going to go up here to wallets once you're um, in your farm dashboard because I don't want to create a overall in general wallet. I want to create a wallet just for this farm. So we click on wallets and then we're going to go over here to add wallet. Once you add wallet, here's where it gets interesting. This is where it's going to vary from you guys. Um, whatever you guys put in here, I don't care, but we're just going to show you guys what we're doing here. First things first, this is going to be Ethereum. I need an address. We're not going to show you guys how to get a wallet or anything like that, but you do have to have a mining address. You got to have some place where we can send this Ethereum. Lots of great videos and for you to check those out online, different other places on YouTube. I'm going to enter my wallet address. Now you can name them. You don't need to name them. <coughs> Excuse me. We are going to name this. This is going to be NYNM YouTube Solo ETH. And that way we can find this in a little bit. All right. So you got to put your coin in. You got to put your address in. You got to name it. That way you can find it. We're going to go ahead and create this. Now, once we are back in action, we're going to head back. We've created our wallet. That's the first part. So now we need to create a flight sheet. So we head back over to our workers tab here. This is our, once again, this is my GPU mining rig. These are our 3080s. We've got two NVIDIA FE RTX 3080s in there and one Zotac Trinity FE RTX 3080. If you're new to the channel and you hit that subscription bell, you better check out some of our other videos. We've got all sorts of fun stuff there. So now we need to create the flight sheet. So we got the wallet set first. Now we need to create the flight sheet for our miner. And this is what's going to tell us where we need to point to. So I come over here to flight sheets. I got all sorts of flight sheets. Well, we're going to create a new one here. Well, we're mining Ethereum, right? So that's what we're going to click as our coin. Um, as far as our wallet goes, well, we did just create a wallet. So now we need to go down here and we need to find it. Not your normal miner. YouTube Solo ETH. We just created that. Great. Now, as you guys remember, we were over on miningpoolstats.stream. We got to figure out our mining pool here. So what we do with that is figure out at miningpoolstats.stream. I do want to use twominers.com. Like I said, guys, these different mining pools, you can use whatever you want. Um, I like twominers.com. And when you're mining here, when you're joining the pool, one of the things that's most important is you want to make sure that you're pointing to the server that's closest to you. If you're in Europe, you want to hit the Europe pool. If you're in USA, you got to hit the USA pool. If you're in Asia, you got to hit the Asia pool. With solo mining especially, every split second, every slit second, every cooter hair second counts. If you're not getting them in in time, well, you're not earning blocks. And if you're sending shares to Europe, you're not earning blocks. Just kind of a, a little tidbit there for you guys.
But we head back over to our flight sheet, so we're going to select our pool. We know that we want to go to two miners. When two miners pops up here, now we've got a lot of great different things. Well, I want to click the U.S. solo pool because that's where I want to solo mine. Now I'm going to hit apply. Last part that you would do here, guys, is you got to select your miner. Well, we are going to go ahead and use Phoenix Miner, and I'm going to go ahead and create flight sheet. Once that's done, that's going to go ahead and create a flight sheet for us. And right up here, it shows us NYNM YouTube Solo ETH over on two miners using Phoenix Miner. Just as simple as that. So we created a wallet. We created the flight sheet. So then we would go back to our worker over here. And you can either click on it, which we'll do that just to make it nice and easy for you. You guys can see our stats here. These RTX 3080s are very finicky, especially the NVIDIA ones. We've got all sorts of other videos for those of you guys that want to see some of that stuff. Once again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscription bell. If you like these kind of videos, you better give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you think. Well, we're over here on our worker. Let's go ahead and click our flight sheet. And we're going to go ahead and change it. We want to come down here to the flight sheet that we want. Here it is. NYNM YouTube Solo ETH. So we're going to go ahead and click the little moon rocket over here. And it does say up here at the top, Worker Updated Successfully. So we're going to go back to our overview. Over on Hive. For those 3080s, we're going to let those sit for a minute. So what else do we know about GPU mining? A lot of people ask us that. Well, we're currently solo mining Ethereum with an EVGA GeForce RTX 2060 Super while we're recording this video, and that is using Awesome Miner, and we're currently using T-Rex as our mining program there. And we are also using our Ryzen 72700 to solo mine XMR. So we are doing all sorts of fun stuff with solo mining here. We're not just a one pump chump when it comes to this stuff. So now that we are mining with that, you need to sit on dashboard side for just a little bit. And what you want to see is you want to see this ETH pop up right here. This is letting you know that you've started to mine. If for some reason you didn't set something up, this will not show Ethereum here. Another way that you would be able to um, figure out is if you're actually mining or not, is you would head over to dashboard side over on twominers.com, their solo pool, and that's where you're going to enter in your miner address. Once you enter that in, hit enter, and that'll pull up your dashboard, kind of let you see where you're at. Well, down here, you would start to see that miner pop up. That's how you know that you're mining correctly or not. So what we've walked you through today is over on twominers.com, their solo Ethereum mining pool using Hive OS. We've shown you how to create a wallet, create a flight sheet, enter that into your miner program, get your miner all set up. And we've also shown you how to figure out which mining pool you're on as well as how to see that you're on dashboard side solo mining. As always guys, solo mining is not recommended. And once again, we it's not recommended because it's all or nothing. If you have to pay your electric every minute of every day and you've gotta be earning the most coins, solo mining's probably not for you because you can go months, years without finding a block. You can also find blocks very quickly, but something that's that you just really need to use caution with. That's why we say it's always not recommended. Keep an eye out, guys. We've got all sorts of other fun mining videos for you, solo mining videos for you, all sorts of other great stuff by community requests. But wrapping things up, we showed you today how to solo mine Ethereum using Hive OS. And as always, in the description down below, we got links to all this stuff so you guys can do your own research. And we did show you how to do that using twominers.com. Please, please, please check out miningpoolstats.stream so you can figure out which mining pool you want to use for solo mining. Also head over to twocryptocalc.com so that way you can see on average how many blocks you're going to find. But we have been showing you how to solo mine Ethereum using Hive OS and twominers.com. If you guys like this kind of videos, you like this kind of stuff, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate all of that. 
as all like we said guys also if you're new to the channel or haven't had a chance to check it out we've got all sorts of different solo mining videos we've got all sorts of fun videos on the ramp and run how to videos how to solo mine ethereum using mining rig rentals how to solo mine ethereum using um awesome miner how to solo mine a lot of different other projects as well as well as a lot of different interesting um shenanigans from our growth as a as a youtube cryptocurrency channel focusing on mining and, and all those fun things also in that description down below you're going to be able to find a link to twitter that way you can keep up with our latest and greatest shenanigans if you want to support the channel because we are not monetized and we are not um, going to use ever and we haven't used affiliate links you can a chat with us directly over at not your normal miner discord we're there all the time we got a lot of great mods but if you head over to the water cooler you can pick up these hodl uh, bitcoin license plates we ship that out anywhere to the u.s that's directly from us for free you can also head over to teespring.com and check out not your normal miners hash merch market we got some of our bitcoin accepted here swag you want to send us a little bit of your favorite coin because you like this video or you solo mine and earned a bunch of different different coins. You like this kind of stuff. You want to help support us because once again, we are full time all the time doing this stuff now. Um, you can support the channel by sending some of your favorite cryptos this way through coinrequest.io. If we don't have your favorite coin there, make sure you let us know. We really appreciate you guys watching this video on the how to solo mine Ethereum using Hive OS and twominers.com. I wish you guys the best of luck on your solar mining adventures. My name is Wes. I'm not your normal miner. Thank you.